What's up guys, my name is Bart, and this is the Colmar Project. I got it. Are you like me where you hoard all of your scrap wood? It's laying in every corner of the shop, from your lumber rack, to the floor, to even your table saw. Basically everything in here is storage for small scraps like this, and I don't want to throw it out. Well, silly, don't throw it out. Cause today we're gonna make a chur churikiki board, a serving tray. So out of the pile, I picked out a piece of walnut and I just started tracing around the grain to see what kind of a design I would get. And uh, I came out with something kind of curvy and I'm not sure if I was really happy with the design here, but I started cutting it out on the bandsaw anyway. But later I'm gonna refine the shape a little bit just to get a little bit more of a modern look on this thing. So after I decided on the shape of the Churikiki board, I taped off the bottom of it to start filling all the cracks. And I'm doing this with Total Boat Epoxy. I added a little bit of tint to it, and then I just started pouring it into the cracks and waited 24 hours for this thing to set. And if you guys go to the Total Boat website right now, they're offering a 20% off on all purchases if you put in the code Comar. After the epoxy set, I used the block plane and a bench plane just to take that epoxy down a bit. Um, I'm not going all the way because I'm going to put it through my planer, but this is just a little way to help it not ruin your blades. Then I pulled out my planer sled and basically it's just two pieces of three quarter inch plywood screwed together, which is going to make a really flat surface. I laid the charcuterie board on it, yes I know how to say it, and I hot glued it to the sled. The hot glue actually acts as a stop preventing it from moving and as shims so it doesn't bow up and down for you. And then I just started skip planing it really slowly taking maybe a 64th off at each pass until I got one side completely flat. Then I removed the hot glue using a seatbelt cutter of all things. Yeah, that, that's actually a seatbelt cutter that the army issued to me and it works really great. But then I was able to take that board and put it through the planer again. Again, taking really shallow passes until that other side was completely flat and I had two parallel sides. So now I got a completely flat board that just needs a little refinement and maybe a hole, probably a hole, and uh, looks like a fish. But it's ready to go. A little routing, a little sanding, and it's time for kid spanking. Don't do that, don't. So when I was drilling the hole, for some reason my drill press just did not want to go through it. I don't know if the chuck is bad or something like that, but I'm here I'm just actually hanging on a thing, putting pressure down, and it didn't work. Seriously? So then I just removed the Forstner bit and I put it on a regular drill, and that worked really well. So you don't need fancy tools, guys, for this thing. You don't even need a planer. You could do this with a hand plane. It just it helps when you have power tools, for sure. And at this point, guys, I was really starting to hate that fish look. It looked like a whale or a flounder or something like that. So I took it over to my table saw and I made some parallel cuts for it. And this gave it a little bit more of a modern look and looks way better. Then over at my spindle sander or oscillating sander, I refined the eye of the board and cleaned it up a little bit better, kind of in that gooseneck area. And it worked really well. Okay, now that we have our shape of our board refined and it's looking pretty good. Now it's time for the fun part. It's not fun guys, it's sanding. We're gonna use a router with a roundover bit and a sander, which we're gonna use to make this thing smooth like butter. We're gonna start with 80 grit and then work our way up to 320 and then we're gonna give it a super awesome finish. It's gonna look so good. First thing we wanna do is round over these edges here just to make it a little bit comfortable, and we're gonna do some sanding. As you can see, those sharp edges are no more, and it's gonna be looking good. 80 grit first. Okay, actually on the back side, I didn't even realize that there were some cracks, just wasn't paying attention. And then on the front side, I got a little bit of a chip out here, and this is where star bond adhesive is gonna come in. It comes with an activator, 
You just spray it on and it fills that hole in for you. Final step in this thing is to sand down the sides and we're just gonna use 220 for that. And there we go. Now we just have to wipe it down a little bit and we can apply some finish. And right before you guys apply the finish, this is important. You wanna either spray on some water or use a damp rag to wipe some water onto your board. This is gonna raise the grain. Then you come back with 220 grit sandpaper and you can just sand all that grain away. So the first time this thing gets wet, it's not gonna be all rough. It's gonna, still gonna maintain its smoothness and silkiness like butter. Then after the oil cures for about 24 hours, you want to wax this thing. And I apply a generous amount of wood wax. You just want to make sure that it's food safe. Walrus oil makes a great product and it looks really good. So there we go. We have ourselves a charcuterie board. I learned how to pronounce it during this build. Now this thing took absolutely no time. Um, the only thing I had to wait for was the epoxy to set, but if you're not filling in any holes like this, then you could probably knock this out in maybe an hour or two. So if you have a bunch of wood laying around, make sure you don't throw it out. There's always some sort of project that you can make, whether it's a cutting board or a charcuterie board, just like this one. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments section below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do projects like this weekly for you guys and your support really helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for joining me on my experience. I will see you guys next time.